Hello and welcome to ThermoLab 1 Data Analysis. In this video, you're going to see how to save time on linear interpolations and learn how to do a nonlinear regression. Start by going to the Unit LMS page. Find the Thermodynamics Lab 1 folder. Then find the Excel file labeled Data Sheets 1 and 2. Save this file to your computer. When you open the file, you'll find you have two tabs, with the same data as the two data sheets from the lab manual. For the lab write-up, you need to show sample calculations, including the use of linear interpolation, to go from the measured resistance to a temperature value. It would be tedious to do all of the interpolations by hand. Using the spreadsheet is quicker and relatively painless. In this example, I am assuming a measured resistance of 158.1 ohms and calculating the corrected resistance. For objective 1 of the lab, you need to fit an equation to your data by changing two parameters in the fitting equation. I'm going to show you a very powerful method of fitting a nonlinear model to data. It's called a nonlinear regression. We'll start by labeling two cells as alpha and p0, as those are the names of the parameters in the equation. From the form of the equation, you should see that alpha must have units of temperature to make the exponential term unitless and p0 must have the same units of pressure as your data. We need initial guesses for the values of alpha and p0, but our guesses don't have to be very good. Now let's make a row for pressure as calculated using the equation, with our guessed values for the parameters and the measured temperature t1 from the experiment. Enter the formula by clicking on the cells with the desired values. A dollar sign locks the cell index. F4 is a shortcut key for toggling locked indices. When the formula is complete, drag the formula cell across the page to calculate a pressure for each measured saturation temperature. Now we are going to take the square of the differences between the measured pressures and our calculated pressures. We need a cell that calculates the sum of the squares of the differences. At this point, we need an Excel add-in called Solver. Go to File, Options, Add-ins, Manage Excel Add-ins, and check the box to make sure Solver is installed. Go to the Data tab and open Solver. Set the sum of squares as the objective cell. Tell Solver to minimize it by changing the two cells with our guessed values. Uncheck the box about making variables non-negative, and then hit Solve. You may need to run Solver more than once to find the minimum because of the poor initial guesses. If you have made it this far, then congratulations on finding the best values to fit the equation to your data. Thanks for watching.